Hey guys, Graphics Works back. It's starting to turn night, and I've got a cameraman in the back corner. My girlfriend's letting me use her account for some time lapse here in a minute, and I'm going to have to sit this one out because I don't have a way for just me to sleep and it's skipped tonight. So, as soon as it turns day, I will be right back and we'll get this video going. Alright guys, and I'm back. I went ahead and made a little platform for her so I could sleep through the night in between um, cycles while I'm making this. And there's the skeleton. Ah. Where? Okay, nowhere. Alright, so what we're going to be working on today in this video is we're going to try to make our starting base. I want to make staircases, like a spiraling staircase, down here towards the water and then maybe a little platform towards this area where we'll have our storage set up. And then I want to get into some mining a little bit. Um, for this, um, like I said, I want to try to do like a jungle theme mixed with modern. And as you can see, I went ahead off camera, I replaced the flooring. I kind of like this design. Tell me what you think in the comments. I think this would be kind of cool to keep as the design. I'm wanting to put like a door here and like a big window here and then a small door over there. And so not that chest, this one. So I've got some jungle wood with some excess stuff. For the stairs I'm going to use the polished granite and make stairs out of that. And then I'm going to use some of this regular stone uh, to mix in with the staircase. And I'll try to use some of these jungle logs to make it look like supports like it did for uh, this like deck awning whatever you want to call it. And then I've got a little bit of oak and then some birch to mix in as needed and I'll probably end up needing to get some more oak logs by the time I'm through with this. And with that let's go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, as the sun is setting, this is what I've got done so far. Boom. So we've got a nice big window, we've got a couple different doorways. I haven't thought of an idea for the roof just yet. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think would be a good idea. I'm kind of thinking about just doing it as like a trapezoidal type top or like an A-frame style or maybe even doing a second floor. I know I do want to put in like a bubble column somewhere in here, bubble elevator, so that way I can go out a set of double doors underneath this deck, kind of, ah, whoops, um, kind of in here, show that off. Um, I forgot to put the supports in, and for some reason, my girlfriend's um, character got signed out right before you could see me get the last one put up. So this is the last support put up. So this is what it kind of looks like. Let's see if I can get a better view. Alright. Uh, so this is kind of what my staircase system looks like. I think those are those the right height. Yeah, they are. Okay. Um, so it kind of just like spirals down. And then what I'll do later on is get this platform set up and the thing is this lined up just perfectly like maybe a couple blocks high of that opening right there so that's perfect I can just do like a little bridge straight over there and that'll look pretty nice and it's fairly dark out let's try to sleep now that I've kind of got this started still need to bring the bed up and make a room for it somewhere or just slap in the center oh um 
while I was collecting resources off camera, check this out. So I ended up finding this while I was looking over at um, one of the smaller islands. I was like, I'll just take some sand off the top and I ended up finding this buried treasure. So that's pretty cool. I've got uh, part of the sea, um, some potion of regeneration, a couple leads, and a name tag. That'll be pretty cool. Now I can work on trying to get the Nautilus shells and probably put a conduit in somewhere. But where would I put a conduit in? Maybe right here in the center pond area? That'd be pretty cool. Oh, I can like swim and make a kelp farm or ground farm or something. Uh, or I could take it out farther because off camera I kind of like traveled around this island and this is a fairly large island somewhere over in there there's like a portal for the nether that spawned naturally in the world and then in that direction if I go out far enough there's some ice caps and think over that way there's like a spruce forest but right now I'll go ahead and put I want to get all my stuff mixed up real quick. And then the only meat I want to take probably just the lamb chops and the melon seed. Uh, let's put half the melons back. Okay, we'll start out with that. And what I didn't do as well, and I will probably end up doing off camera, is I'll make another one of those like staircase systems probably over here on this side or at least a smaller version of it maybe it'll just be a straight shot instead of a spiral but I'm gonna do one on this side because I found ah, come on oh, damn it I went ahead and started getting some iron and some coal um, so I could uh, make that stone cutter and so I end up stumbling across this which is like right under our base it's pretty nice you can see where I kind of mined out some of the coal and stone for some cobble what there better not be a damn witch in here but yeah I kind of like went in here just I don't like those noises. Just kind of um, lit this up a little bit. And uh, I didn't go too far into it because I wanted to save this for on camera. So I figured we could spend a good part of this episode in here. And it'll be nice to have some iron tools and get this done a lot faster. Alright, so if we go this way, I think it just goes out into open. No, it's a dead end. Okay. So. I'm going to go ahead and mine this coal, and that coal and that little bit of iron, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, got all that, and now we can continue on with the journey. Um, uh, hey, more iron. Uh, I'm not going to try to have this episode be as long as the first one. Um, I'm going to try to keep this around the 20 minute mark the best I can because um, I felt like the first one was fairly long because uh, I mean it was like 40 minutes I feel like that's a little high especially for me starting out but maybe you guys like 40 minutes maybe you like longer videos versus like the short 20-ish minute ones um, let me know in the comments if you think 
It would be better to do the longer ones where they're 40 minutes and try to get a little bit more done in them, or if I should just stick with 20 minute shorts, relatively speaking. Um, try to give me an idea of like what you guys like uh, to see and uh, what do you guys think would be cool for me to do in the future in this world? Should I like try to make a mob farm? Because really, for the most part, I've never really done mob farms. Like, the closest I've done is to like spamming a bunch of cows in a pen and killing them all. So, I've never really worked with anything automated. So I want to try doing some of that and uh, just kind of like outreach what I haven't had the chance to attempt in the past. Because normally, for the most part, I'd end up just like playing some survival with some friends and uh, play for a little while on and off for a couple years and then start start a new world and not really get too far in it. Like, I've only killed the dragon, like, maybe one time, and that's just because I've never, like, really tried to shoot for killing the dragon. It's never been, like, a main goal for me, but I think... Oh, shit. No, no, no! That, that was not good. Um, yeah, because that was just when that was like a goal in mind, and now I've just kind of played more casual and not done a whole lot, but I actually want to try to do something with this series. I mean, I can't do anything too spectacular like Hermitcraft or anything, but I can at least try to do something interesting as a solo Let's Play. Um, so I want to try to like make this last a little bit. The like end game will be for like to kill the end the dragon. So whenever that time comes, that'll probably be the end of this series, um, more than likely. But I want to take my time getting there with like getting up resources and making a couple different smaller farms and going through the Nether and exploring the Nether with the. Excuse me. Uh, with the um, 1.16 update, right, and hopefully get to explore some of the 1.17 update once that happens, and get to check out the new creatures and get to test out all the new fun stuff. Here. Um, and I do have some plans for some future videos now. Um, I went ahead and found some old games I used to play growing up as a kid, and so I'm going to showcase those and do small little series on those and try to complete them. Um, couple of them you probably never heard of and if you're old enough you probably have heard of them but um I just thought it'd be cool to bring back uh, the nostalgic of some of the older PC games that are now forgotten since it's been nearly 20 years since they've been released or ever been played by most people and it just brings memories back to me of my childhood of when I have nothing to do after school and I'd hop on the computer and I'd play those games because we didn't have internet at the time but my dad kind of pirated um, a couple copies I'm not going to say how but he did but the games were in I think it was German I'm not for sure it's been 
too far back to remember, but either way, they were in another language, and so I didn't know what I was doing. I barely knew how to play any of the games, and that's kind of sad that this kind of just abruptly ends, but anyway. So I was able to find um, a couple of them on Steam, and so I'm going to play a couple of those, and then I ordered a couple off of eBay, and so I'm going to play those as well. Uh, there wasn't really much in this cave system. How about how about we do this? I've got 36 iron, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Okay, let's go ahead and get this all smelted up. There's six. And get ourselves a full suit of iron armor, and then we'll come back in here and go a little bit, whoops, wrong way, go farther into this cave system. Last purpose. Boom. So much faster. Okay, so while I'm letting that run, I'll put this coal in here. Do this. Do that in there. Do that in there. And then I'll leave this stuff. Actually, I'll go ahead and throw The one sword in there and the one shovel in there, so that should be fine. Um, so, in the comments below, let me know what you think I should make this building out of. I don't know if I want to do it all the way or if I want to make it look like it's built into it and have it be kind of short, but I'm thinking it should be a taller build, like just for all the storage almost because it's going to be an item sorter and that's going to be my first attempt ever at doing an item sorter I don't like I said I normally don't do the automated stuff uh, so that's going to be new ish to me on figuring out how to do that um, I was kind of thinking about like getting some terracotta and some bricks and kind of making it brick looking on the outside, maybe. Um, tell me your I get uh, I get uh, blah blah. If I could talk, geez. Um, your guys' ideas on that, or maybe if I should use something else like the andesite or diorite, or should I eat, not even make it be a different design, or should I make it like match up with the house with like all the jungle wood and logs and stone and birch and all that. And it's raining. Again. Uh, so... Where is this at? Oh, it's on the last... That was super fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this down. Need that. And I still have not made a farm yet, just for food. So, let's see what we can do about that in the next episode. Unless if something more spectacular happens. It's still technically day. 
This is done. Hmm. Okay, so don't need in there. So let's do one helmet, one chest plate, one leggings, one boot, one sword, one pickaxe. Throw that in there, and they used to pull my sticks. Throw these logs in here, and we will just go from there. That is super loud in my ear. That is extra loud in my ear. Holy shit! Alright guys, I went ahead and just cut out to right here, um, my audio cut out for a little bit and I got that fixed, so I just went ahead and made my way over here and then we should be good to go. So I went ahead and, I think I heard an arrow, maybe I'm just hearing stuff. And so I came all the way back here to where this uh, waterfall was and all the gravel, so I figured this would be like the lowest point. I haven't even looked at the cord to see if it is or not, but I just figured with the gravel it would be a good starter, like see if we can get anywhere, hopefully, or at least get us a little bit closer towards diamond so we can get some of those or, and get a jump start on that. down at 28 and can still hear goddamn thunder. It's like it's breathing down my neck. Uh, oh, what do you guys think would be a cool update? I know they're working towards the Caves and Cliffs update, and they've got a few other updates in store. Like, they're wanting to work towards doing those other biome updates last I knew. So, like, hopefully we'll get put chests and boats and get some new creatures. What do you think would be cool for something that you'd like to see added into vanilla Minecraft that still makes it vanilla without it being feeling like it's too non-Minecraft, to, so to speak? Okay, we're at 12 and we haven't seen anything yet. Let's try going out this way. Um, well, there's some redstone. Um, I know what I've talked about with my girlfriend would be a cool uh, idea is like an agriculture-esque update where you get a new block and it, I don't have the idea fully fleshed out just yet of like what it would be but I think it'd be cool to like take a stick and two iron ingots put them like how a sword is up and down but make it sideways so like in the middle row and do it like iron ingot ingot and then stick and what I would do is make it do a frying pan and what you could use this frying pan for um, is you could place it over a campfire and when you put it over the campfire you can only put one item in it, but it'll cook it four times faster. So essentially, instead of placing four items on a campfire and waiting for them to all pop off at the same time, you're 
trading that off for one item to get it four times faster. So if the speed of the campfire is say like 20 seconds for an item, you're then getting <clears throat> one item at five seconds, but it'll still be the same exchange when you do four items, because like four items at 20 seconds, and it seems faster, versus um, the four items at 20 seconds, but it's slower. And that also works better if you think about it with like, if you don't have exactly four, look, thinking about it now, be like you have three items that you need cooked, and so you could get your three for 15 instead of three for 20. That actually does sound like a really good idea. They should really, hey diamond, they should really uh, work towards that. Um, and by doing this frying pan thing, um, it would also allow you to be able to put an egg on it, if you think about it, and then we could actually have another use for eggs besides just for hatching chickens. We could have fried eggs and we could have another food source to eat. Um, some of the other things that would be included is like maybe updating the farmer, to like have some better trades or to be able to trade the newer items. Um, be able to make toast by putting it in a furnace, like putting bread in a furnace. Um, I thought about adding like new crops, like not necessarily like corn, but like baked beans. I I have a whole list of it somewhere. If I remember, I might talk about it in the next video because I'm I'm not going to go hunting it down right now. Because uh, my phone's in the other room and. She, sleep right now because it's nine o'clock at night and she has to be up at four in the morning to go to work so uh, I'm just gonna let her sleep and not disturb her so 40 redstone 8 gold 30 iron pretty good And then the diamond one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight. Hey, eight right out the gate. And then I have that one that I found earlier in that chest, so that makes nine. So we now have a full block. Or so we've got boots and a helmet, or we've got a pickaxe and a sword. Pickaxe would be good to make. Um, I want to see if I can find a little bit more, maybe. Let's, oh yeah, that broke. So let's see if I just keep going straight, see if I can get any luckier. Redstone. I just saw an update on oh that scared me for a second um oh, did i just cover up all that no surely not i'm gonna say for the new snapshot um and it's going to be replacing the iron gold and the copper which I I don't really look for copper. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen copper since it's been added into the game. So maybe I'll stumble stumble across it at some point. But um. 
I think it'd be cool to play with some of the copper, but I don't necessarily know how I feel about the ore being turned into items like the rest of this. I mean, it's great that it'll be uh, like unified or basically on the same playing field as like all the other ores, which is great and all. Um, it's just that that is. When you think about it, it's one thing that has never changed in a very long time since the creation of Minecraft, pretty much. And so, it, theoretically, I feel like it would be a big change to like walk into, even though it's small. Die. There we go. I just feel like that's a, it's a hefty pill more or less to like take in, but I also like the fact that you could use fortune on it and be able to get more resources that way. So I feel like that's a really big plus and kind of makes up for that in a good way. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you, do you like the idea? Do you not like the idea? I think I want to hear you guys' thoughts on it. Uh, da, 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 da. Spider? Oh. I made it brighter in here, and you don't like that. Okay, bit of a dead end. Oh, for a moment I thought that was Creeper Feet. That's just a zombie. <sighs> la da dee, la dee doo, la dee dang. circle, but I haven't been here before, huh? Alright. I made a loop at the same I, at the same time I didn't make a loop. That's scary as shit. Only am I on my last torch, but my pickaxe is almost depleted. So let's see how many more resources I can get up real quick, and I'll meet back up with you guys if 
I find more diamonds or if I'm back at the surface. Alright guys, so my pickaxe broke and I lost my way out. Like, I got lost. I got stuck, I couldn't find my way out. So, I'm just gonna spend the next, like, 10 years of my life trying to mine my way out by hand. <sighs> and... Oh, I had wood on me. I could have just made a new fucking pickaxe. I'm a complete fucking idiot because I forgot that I came prepared. Let's go ahead and just put this right here and we'll put all of our valuables in it. Redstone, lapis, gold, iron, iron, diamonds for sure. Now let's go ahead and throw the bow and arrow in there, and the gold chest plate. The rest of this, can just go over here. Okay, and then we've got a stack of iron, and I'll go ahead and take three of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then click that. Let's go ahead and get this going, and then to finish off this episode, we'll get ourselves. A nice, valuable diamond hoe. Good thing I didn't actually click on that. Diamond pickaxe. Aha. And then... Let's see if I can do this. Oh, wrong way. Eh. It's not easy for me to remember how to, like, do some of this. Alright, so... We now have our diamond pick, we've got some iron smelting in the blast furnace, we've got a full decked out suit of iron armor, I think in the next episode we're going to make a farm, because I need better food sources. This one mutton is not going to rest me my entire life. So we'll do that in the next one. and. Ah, sorry about that. My uh, my jaw just broke. Not really. Um, but yeah, go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe. That would really help me out, so I know who's watching. And yeah, so in the next one, we'll go ahead and do the uh, do the farm. All right. Bye. Ow. Ooh, that was close.